What is up guys, welcome to Diving Garage. When you're working on an older engine like this, 283 small block Chevy, you may find that it doesn't have a balancer bolt built into the crank. And that's because it didn't come with one from the factory. And that may be fine when you're going to remove the balancer, but what happens when you need to install a new one? Now a modern balancer installation tool needs those threads. What do you do when they're not there? In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to solve that problem. And this is one of those things where you gotta do it right. And if you mess it up, my damage that crankshaft and in this case our whole short block <laughs> let's dive in now of course this is something you would typically want to do when the crankshaft is on the bench not installed into a short block but i wanted to show you this way because this is something that's possible whether the engine is on a stand or in the vehicle your balancer may have deteriorated and it's starting to slip internally or worst case scenario it exploded and shot its way off to the moon <laughs> Either way, this engine came without threads in the snout of the crankshaft, which is pretty typical of engines of this era. Now this here is a balancer that came on this engine originally, and it's pretty beat up. <laughs> you can tell it's old, it's deteriorated, and this isn't something I would feel comfortable reusing. So what I have in mind is this gently used balancer that came off of one of my other engines. It's good, it's for uh, this style engine, and it'll work just fine for what we're doing, but again, Need those threads on the crank so we can get this thing installed. All right, now you might be asking yourself, all right, what is this guy about to do? Is he about to grab this drill and just go ham, thinking it'll self-center, right? It'll be good enough? No. <laughs> because if you, if you get this whole misaligned, and then there's only a little bit of wiggle room on the, uh, on the hole for that balancer, so you really can't mess this up. So this is how we're gonna make sure that that hole is straight on. This little guy right here, this uh, little contraption goes over the snout and has a little slot for the keyway and a guide for our drill bit and our tap, which I got over there. And this is all comes in a little kit. I'll link it in the description below if you need this type of thing. And the way this works is like I said, it just goes over on the snout. It's a snug fit. What I did to make sure that there was nothing interfering is I just got a hand file and a deburring tool, deburred the inside of here, deburred all the outside edges there, just to make sure nothing was in the way because we're gonna have to kind of tap this on so it stays snug and stays straight. So let's do that and then we can get to drilling. All right, so like I said, it goes on just like this and you should be able to get it on a little bit of the way by hand. And we're just gonna grab a little medium weight hammer here and just tap her on. There you go, bottomed out. And that is the tool installed, ready to work. All right, and now comes the scary part. So what we're gonna do, this is the drill bit that came with the kit. Got it in our drill here, and it does just go in just like that, and it helps it stay centered, right? So there is still a little bit of wiggle room in here. Just try your best to keep it nice and steady. And what I'm gonna do too, is I'm gonna loop it up with a little bit of this. Uh, I'm kind of liking the stuff. I got it from the hardware store. Just a little bit of light machine oil to help loop things up. And uh, I'm gonna put a little bit on the drill bit here. I'm just gonna jam a little bit in that hole there. Oh, there we go. And then now, let's do it. Oh, and we're only gonna go about an inch or two deep. And you know what, before I go too crazy, let's mark it. We're just gonna go about an inch deep. That's plenty of thread. We don't need a ton on there. That'll do just fine. So now we know when our drill hits that tape, we've gone plenty deep. Make sure you use the chalk on your drill, guys. All right, so I ended up only going about three quarters of, three quarters of an inch deep. That felt about right. So what I'm gonna do now, just get a little paper towel, a bit of compressed air, and cover this hole so the chips shoot out here, and I'll give this whole area a nice air down real quick. All right, to get this little fixture off, I'm gonna grab a jaw pillar and just grab onto it, and then I'm gonna get a slide hammer and get it off of there. There you go, nice and easy. So I don't know if you can really see, but we got a nice hole now, right, in the center of our crank. We didn't go too deep. We didn't damage anything, we're looking good. And so now what I'm gonna do is get the, uh, get the tap included in the kit, get it oiled up, throw some oil in there, and get the tapping. Okay. 
All right, and now let me get this hole cleaned out and then we'll try our tool. All right, now this here is the adapter for our uh, balancer installation tool kit. And as you can see, it goes in there just fine. Screws nice and easy and then comes to a stop perfectly before shouldering out on the nose. And that is a successful drill and tap install for this 283 small block Chevy crank. Now any early small block crank you'll find that doesn't have this drill and tap, you'll need to do this for because when you're installing one of these, the answer is not a big hammer. I promise guys, that is not it. The proper answer is an installation tool kit. And like I said, that's a little adapter bit and to press it on using that kit. And if you do not know how to do that, I have a video down in the description below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video. And I want to know, what are you struggling with when you're building your engine? Is it a small block? Is it a big block? Is there a certain question you have? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Get out there and dive your next project. Catch you next time.